हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल माइक्रोबायोलॉजी बाय संतोष नपते इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द केमिकल म्यूटिलिनिक एजेंट्स नाउ इन टुडेज लेक्चर वी विल सी अबाउट फिजिकल म्यूटेजेंट्स और फिजिकल म्यूटेजेनिक एजेंट्स बिफोर दैट इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब दिस माइक्रोबायोलॉजी बाय संतोष नपते सो काइंडली सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल so that you will get notifications about upcoming new videos which will be on different papers of microbiology as well as on multiple choice questions which will be useful for summer 2020 2021 exams and also useful for msc entrance exams and your other competitive exams so let's start with physical mutagenic agents what are that physical mutagenic agents responsible for mutations that includes ionizing radiations and second type are non ionizing radiations ionizing radiations includes x rays gamma rays and cosmic rays so these rays are called as ionizing radiations because when they get exposed to or when that biological molecules get exposed to these ionizing radiations so they will result into the formation of ions so that's why these x rays gamma rays and cosmic rays these are called as ionizing radiations and non ionizing radiations include ultraviolet radiations so these ultraviolet radiations they does not cause formation of ions so that's why these are called as non ionizing radiations so the sources of these radiations includes natural sources such as sunlight and outer space and artificial sources includes medical diagnostics as well as power plants then how these ionizing radiations they cause mutations these ionizing radiations they have high energy and penetrating power and these are responsible for the formation of highly reactive free radicals and the interaction between the radicals and dna as well as proteins lipids in cell membrane takes place because of these ionizing radiations then at the same time these ionizing radiations which have high energy and high penetrating power they cause different effects that results into the failure of organelles then blockage of cell division as well as death of cells then these radiations they interact with dna molecules and causes the breaking in one or both strands that can lead to the rearrangements it can also lead to the deletions chromosome loss and finally which results into the death if these mutations remain unrepaired then they can, they can cause damage to the loss damage to or loss of bases that is mutation and they also causes the cross linking of dna to itself or to the proteins so this is the diagram which shows the how that radiations interact with the dna molecule so this is the normal sequence here having cytosine adenine thymine thymine at fourth position here so there is a deletion takes place so cytosine adenine thymine now at fourth position there is a cytosine comes so there is a deletion takes place that means it results into the mutation and that is called as the base pair mutation then later on non ionizing radiations which have less energy as well as no penetrating power and that includes ultraviolet radiations so the wavelength of these ultraviolet radiations it is absorbed by the bases of dna and by aromatic amino acids of the proteins these are classified in terms of their wavelength for example uva uvb and evc in decreasing order of the wavelengths so these non ionizing radiations they causes the mutation but how so they results into the formation of thymine thymine dimers when there is a adjacent thymine thymine nucleotides are present in dna molecule and when such dna molecule get exposed to the ultraviolet light so it results into the formation of thymine dimers 
and it causes the stopping or blocking of the DNA replication. So these dimers they cause the strand to buckle, disturb the, which disturb the normal base pairing, and at the same time they prevent the normal replication and transcription. So this is the diagram which actually explains the how there is a formation of thymine thymine dimers here. So this is the double stranded DNA molecule. Now here these are the adjacent thymine thymine nucleotides and when this DNA molecule get exposed to ultraviolet light so that results into the formation of such cyclobutane ring that is thymine thymine dimer. Then this is the normal DNA molecule when exposed to ultraviolet light so here there is a thymine thymine dimer is formed. So there is a premature termination of complementary strand or there is a that replic blocking of DNA replication. Then next types of mutations are biological mutations and these biological mutations includes transposable element, insertions results in dysfunction of genes and that common biological mutations these are rubella virus, cytomegalovirus and hepatitis B virus. So these are the biological or living agents and that causes the mutation in cells also or in DNA. So these transposable genetic elements which are nothing but, which are also called as jumping genes. So that transposable elements these are responsible for the gene mutation. So this is about the gene. So this gene it jumps from one location to another location here. So actually not this is the normal process here. Transcription takes place, mRNA will be formed and then translation takes place and active polypeptide or protein will be formed. But when there is a mutation takes place because of the jumping genes so the genes segments they separated by transposable genetic elements so here this gene or uh, that gets separated then again there is a transcription takes place translation takes place but whatever that protein will be formed or polypeptide will be formed that is inactive so it does not function normally so in this way that transposable element they can cause mutation then so here we have seen that about the mutation and in this videos we have seen about chemical mutagenic agents then later on we have studied about the physical mutagenic agents and finally we have studied about the biological mutagenic agents so here we will stop or we have finished this mechanism of induced mutation in which we have studied about the physical, chemical and biological mutagenic agents. So next topic we will see in next video lecture. Thank you.